what's up? Welcome to the uh, to the Joystick Show. Howdy! It's your it's your boys. It's Roberto. It's Dilberto. Yeah, that's your full name, right? D- Dilberto Dianzo. Okay, yep, you got it. And yeah. Roberto Rizinzo. <laughs> fucking here to give you a brand new episode of our weekly podcast where we entertain you and educate you both at the same yeah. time we call it edutainment yeah yeah we, it's, it's not our word but we took it and we stole it and yeah. now it is our word. we're we're on the I, f- I would say we're on like the far end i would say like the normal end would be like actual like educational content yeah yeah, yeah. it's and like 75 percent entertainment we, we get 20, yeah the, it's not it's 80, not might even be 80 20 we're know? not we're not 50 50 it definitely here. not no, no. If we were 50 50 ing it, you would learn a lot more on this yeah. channel, I'll tell you that much. It wouldn't just be stupid fun facts about movies. Yeah. But regardless, before we get into this shindig, it'd be really cool if you could like this episode of The Joystick Show. We're on episode 97, yeah, we right? Are. Jesus Christ. We're just tiptoeing our way to 100. 100, almost there. Get ready. It's exciting. And uh, if you want to, you know, you could subscribe. It would be pretty yeah, cool. Be, I, I would like to it. do that. You know, I don't send it this way. For I was us. actually, I was looking at the numbers and it's getting, ve- like, in the next couple weeks, of podcast episodes we're getting dangerously close to having more videos than subscribers we're like at 240 something subscribers and then like we're at the same 240 something videos on joystick so i want to get that number yeah, higher. we're gonna have to start kidnapping people we gotta get like 25 more before Drastic in measures. two weeks i think we can do it guys yeah. 25 subs in two weeks right doable, doable. yeah oh well, yeah all right <clears throat> Glad I got that one out. That yeah. one was trapped in there for half the day. Good. Thank you, White Castle. <laughs> and uh, you, bro, I miss you. I mean, it's been a bit. Yeah, we filmed the last one early, didn't we? Right? I actually want to check the date. It's Right now, as of recording this episode, it is July 8th. Yes. But the last time we filmed the podcast was July 30th. Yeah, which was June 30th. Yeah, yes. so it's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days since yes. I've seen you, pal. It's been more than a week. Yeah, for sure. I've seen Jose more often than I've seen you in the past nine days. Damn. I hung out with him twice. Damn, yep. mm-hmm. crazy. So what's uh what what's been shaking with you? Yeah, nothing much. I feel like a lot of that has to do with not only you being away, but also it was like Fourth of July and shit, and I kind of needed. I had a lot of like I had a strong two days of seeing like a bunch of family and a bunch of people, and I was like, all right enough of that you know mm-hmm. but yeah it was fun uh, a lot of fireworks uh constant fireworks by me oh yeah for yeah. sure I mean, especially by you. Yeah, yeah 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 it was like every like few blocks there was just people on the beach doing them mm-hmm. and then every couple every like hour and a half a white truck would come around do like a, sh- a quick turn and then they'd open up the back and unload all the fire like oh more fireworks God. and i'm like the cop just goes by and keeps driving and i'm like good <laughs> What was I gonna say, uh, bro? Next next year, I think I'm gonna go spend Fourth of July with you and in, in the rock. Yeah, bro, it's pretty. Yeah, fun. it's mad nice. And I went up to. Uh, I was like, damn, this. I wonder if it's open or not. And I was afraid if it was like. Uh, what? So I went up to the top of my building. It was locked. Yeah. Last year, I went up to the roof of my building and then just watched from That's the awesome. roof. Yeah. So I went to the other building next to mine, uh, which is I believe, mm-hmm. and that roof was open. So I watched it from the roof up okay. there. Yeah. It was really cool. Is yeah. that the address? Yeah. Should I bleep that? I'm going to bleep that for you. <laughs> well, it's the street. Okay, you know. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's up to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, but besides that, I've just been watching uh, a lot of television, uh-huh. a lot of uh, YouTube content. I would say the thing I've been watching the most is Arrested Development. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that show is fucking hysterical. Which is freeze-framed behind yeah, you at the which moment. which we got like, you know, six minutes into a compilation in yeah. the back before we got started, but like... Yeah, that show is just incredible, man. Oh, it's like, a great show. Like, I completely... It's one of those shows that, like, I remember when I, like, first had Netflix. I watched that shit, and I was like, that's really funny. And then I just, like, forgot about it. Yeah. And then since then, I rewatched all of these different shows. I rewatched Parks and Rec in order yep. and stuff like that. But then I never... I watched Workaholics recently. I watched, like, four seasons of that. I have that. to do that one, too. Uh, but then I went back into the rest of the development, and I'm like, damn, I think this is the best one, or at least my favorite Your favorite, yeah. out of the best. No, I mean, it's uh, it's up there. The Arrested Development's jokes are fucking. Yeah. Not only are they hilarious, they're so layered. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, like I remember the top comment in the video we're watching right now. The uh, the one of the top comments that's like the most is essentially a guy like I liked how they'll introduce someone in season one for a joke in season three. Yeah, like they'll they'll have this whole thing, and I'm like, wait, there's another part of that joke. Like one of my favorite jokes is that uh, the like the head of household, the the mom. Uh, Lucille, Mm -hmm. she's like, I don't trust anyone in the family. So she hires a private investigator Uh named Jean Parmesan. I remember this. Yep. 
and it is like the and he always has like a disguise the mustache and it's, it's always horrible and it's the only character in the show that makes her happy like she's miserable every fucking episode yeah. and then when she sees him she's like ah! <laughs> Gene, I can't. and i'm like he's literally in a pawn show but he's a white guy how does he look mexican come on oh my god <laughs> and it happens so much where you're like it's definite it, that's definitely gene yeah. there's no way it can't be. <laughs> but yeah the uh, like I, I start to question it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But I I think that just ensemble cast, the way that like if you're a good director or you're a good production team, that like no one really get cares what they get paid. Yeah. They just all come onto the show. And and keywords there, ensemble cast. Cause yes. holy shit. Yeah, because like I mean? pa- Parks and Rec, I would still say in terms of like who I like personally. Yeah. They have Aziz and yeah. Amy Poehler, Amy Chris Poehler, Pratt. Exactly. They have everybody, you know. But, Nick Offerman. Yeah. But then when you watch Arrested Development, I feel like they, like, in smaller roles, they get even more famous people. Mm-hmm. Like, they have uh, the guy, play, uh, Fonzie. They have, uh, yeah, he plays yeah. the lawyer. They have really uh, Carl Weathers is in the show. Amazing. Incredible. Like, uh, <laughs> like they, they just get all of these small people to fill these roles. But I would say, like, Will Arnett and David, David Cross, Cross are two actors and comedians that yeah. really steal the show in that show. And like you always say about SNL, Jason Bateman plays a great straight man. Yeah. You know, like... Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to add on that. that yeah, 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 He made awkward silence on the podcast. <laughs> no, no, I great. just had to think about it for a second. Yeah. yeah. And, like, even Portia de Rossi's funny in mm-hmm. it. You're like, wow, she like she's not just Ellen DeGeneres. Michael Sarah is hilarious. It's like the awkward <laughs> kind of energy <laughs> Michael, in the show. Michael, there's a scene. It's like, it's like fucking Michael. The way he delivers his lines. Like, there's even scenes where it's like... They're sitting on a couch, and like the way Michael Sarah is sitting is his. Sit- You're like, who the fuck sits like that? No one sits like that. Like just little, like little things. Yeah, like that are the minute just, details are, are the funniest. But yeah, I just, I want to just, I don't want to branch out into other shows, but I feel like I might be missing some shows. Okay. You know what I mean? No, yeah. Like I feel like there's a show out there that I might like more. You ever seen The Office? Yes, I've seen The Office. It's I, mm, I like it. I'm trying to think of like, uh, like random comedy shows that fit that niche like i remember people like the it crowd someone recommended to me and i'm like fuck that you ever seen uh what we do in the shadows no you should give that a try i know joey talks a lot about it talks about it a lot but it's a really good show i mean considering it came from does joey hype it up is that what the issue is or no i mean considering it came from a movie that was made by taika waititi and the guys from flight of the concords you know it's a pretty damn good show oh yeah it's it's really good good, uh that's a good combo yeah um what else i'm trying to think of like comedy shows that i like because i've seen everything i got i'm re-watching seinfeld i put that clip in our group chat of kramer getting oh, a license the, the plate Ass that Man says ass Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it just becomes the whole plot point of the episode Bro. but uh, uh yeah pull up like i was about to say comedy or like underrated comedy shows something like that i mean i was just gonna put like series up and see what they got barry's great yeah, I need to watch Barry. Yeah. I watched most of Brooklyn Nine Nine. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Brooklyn Nine Nine. It's free. always sunny. I need all. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the that one. Might be the one. That's the one I need. That because it's like I love that show, but I, I don't watch it enough. You ever seen uh, Atlanta? The one with uh, this guy's show, uh, Donald Glover. Donald Glover show. Not really. No. I want to give it a watch. I watched every, every scene I see. Some from of it, season one, I believe. Every scene I see from it, it's hilarious, but in like a really thought-provoking way. Oh, like all of I the see. jokes have like little undertones to it that make you go, "Huh," you know what I mean? I and see. I think that's a really like that's a really awesome thing that not a lot of. It's other a good shows. thing to put. Oh, the ranch, bro. We need to watch the <laughs> ranch. Yeah, going strong without fucking uh, what's this guy's name? Danny Masterson. Facing 70 plus years in prison. Good luck with that one, Masterson. Modern Family is hilarious. Modern Family is very good. I would say Arrested, like Arrested Development and Modern Same Family energy. are, they're like their cousins, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like Modern, like, like Arrested Development is more frenetic and then Modern Family is more like documentary yeah, picture perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. And Arrested Development is like the camera, like the, the amount of camera shake in Arrested Development yeah, 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 yeah. is wild. I'm like, damn it. He's running up. Like you see him running <laughs> yeah, up. Like you, exactly. you feel like you're in there. Like damn. But yeah, Modern Family is very, very, very funny. Yeah. I liked New Girl for the the first parts that like the first couple seasons that I watched it, but I didn't I couldn't stick with it. I uh I didn't like Blackish, and then I was at the Norman Rockwell Museum in uh-huh. Massachusetts, and there was a piece about Blackish, 
where like a painter a famous black painter uh she painted uh like different movie posters and different tv shows and she was talking about the importance of blackish and the connection it felt with like mm-hmm. the community and i didn't know that like it, apparently it connected with a lot of african-american people because oh, cool. it was like it was like it faced the moral dilemma of like black people moving into white suburbs and the effect of that like is that a good thing like Mm because people in terms of like society see that as moving up yeah but is it moving up yeah you're just in a different location exactly you could have bought a really nice house from where you were from Mm -hmm. you know it's like it it hits a lot it it hits a lot of issues that i was like oh i thought it was just like a dumb slapstick black comedy they they made another a spinoff of it too i forgot what it's called it's something ish though like youngish oh oh, what is it no, no, I, I don't know because that's the one thing it's like uh, i respect tyler perry and everything tyler perry does is but that tyler perry? it's not oh it's not i don't think so that's the thing though is that it's not and i think that's why it's better because i don't know i'm not a big fan of tyler perry stuff apparently there's a show called grownish and one called mixed ish <laughs> grownish was 2018 and with with latino ish <laughs> mixed dish was 2019 interesting this is yeah that is interesting that's so this does have a big societal impact if it got several spin-offs yeah, yeah, yeah. which it probably doesn't deserve if i want to be honest isn't it, I, I heard isn't it finally ending i think i, I actually, think so I think yeah like the last season is yeah coming out Mm-hmm. which is kind of crazy because like in my head that show came out five days Just, ago yeah you know that, what I mean? uh, like on my sh- like no honestly in my head i'm like if you turn on abc it's the middle and modern family i don't know yeah, why yeah, yeah, like yeah, even yeah. to this day right now yeah. it's not on what do you mean yeah <laughs> it's still wipeout it's yeah, still yeah, yeah. Wipeout. <laughs> it's like jeopardy wheel of fortune wipeout wipe like out. what a fucking formula man. Oh, man like when did fucking abc turn into the game show network yeah right <laughs> That fucking holy moly. <laughs> That's actually a good show. I, I watch that sometimes on Hulu. Wait, what? Holy moly. Holy holy? moly. Uh, Steph Curry show. Oh, I've it's, watched. It's mini golf mixed with Wipeout. Oh, okay. I've seen. Yeah, so all the whole like, clips. Ridiculous. They had a hole where like uh, these like dragons shoot actual fire. And the person has to wear like a flame retardant suit of armor and basically oh. put in like as fire is being shot at him. Damn, that's crazy. And this isn't a stunt man. This is like a guy from Ohio. Like, this is, <laughs> I kid you not. That's the funniest that's part It's normal that. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually amazing. That reminds me a lot of, uh, have I ever shown you the Fumble Dimension? Mm-mm. It's a show, uh, like, uh, it's made by the, the John Boys, that YouTuber I like. He makes like all the, he made the poker video. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So he makes a show now called the Fumble Dimension, where him and another YouTuber, they basically take a game and just like completely fucking destroy it. And like every like they take a sports game and they made like for example, they made uh, an NBA draft where every year in the franchise only zero overall people got into the game. What the hell? So like it was like LeBron and like LeBron played into he was like forty five because everyone on his team was pure shit uh-huh. and they just like the the game like, there was eighty turnovers a game oh, okay. they like broke it, so, it and they did one that reminds me of the golf thing where they had people send in what they wanted the courses to be and they would mm-hmm. have to do the course oh shit and it's all custom made so it's like there's a ship in the middle of the fucking <laughs> that's cool <laughs> yeah love that shit. Fucking, uh, I've also been watching stuff. You see, I had a pretty uneventful 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Later on, I'll talk about what I did pre-4th of July. Yeah, because you did some stuff. Yeah, but I actually gained, I got back on the 3rd, so, like, the next day was the 4th. And, like, when I say I did nothing, I did nothing. I really didn't, I didn't do anything on the 4th. I just stood home. I uh, I played some games. I I watched some fireworks, which I was going to mention earlier. Like, fireworks here are annoying because there's just so many trees, and you can't actually see anything behind any of the trees. I mean, this is what, Forest fucking Park? Like, everything is trees here. (laughs) Exactly. uh, Where where it's not house, it's a tree. So you hear a lot of fucking explosions. You just don't see where they're fucking coming from. But uh, I took the opportunity. You know, I said... I'm home today. My parents went to the beach. Nobody was there. So I was like, I'm bored. I'm going to watch a movie. I decided I was going to watch a movie that I really wanted to watch, like one that I've seen before that I enjoy. And then I came to realize that not only do I really like this movie, I actually haven't watched it a lot. And I actually haven't Mm. watched it in a while. Interesting. Is it Little Nicky? Definitely Little Nicky with Adam Sandler. (laughs) Yep. Uh, No. I watched John Wick. Oh, yeah. John. Uh, uh, I found out they were all on Peacock. I watched the first one, and then I immediately watched two and three. 
So I would like to talk a little bit about the John Wick trilogy. Uh, I've seen one and two. Yeah. Very like. Have you, you've not seen three? I've not seen three. Oh my god. I know you said it was like the best one. It is. But I don't know. I just it's a, it's a very like when I'm lacking satisfaction. Yeah. I feel like next week is I'm gonna be feeling unfulfilled. And I'll watch three. What was I gonna say? But Fucking it's a very satisfying movie. Jerry, uh, at, we, we, me and Jerry went to the movies yesterday, and Jerry asked me when we were talking about it. He was like, "What is it about those movies that, like, why did they get so popular?" And I was telling him that there's like this weird, kind of like psychological thing where like people, especially guys, kind of have this fantasy about the one man army kind of idea, right? Like the yeah, one yeah, oh, take all. Undis- oh, it's it's like the biggest movie trope exactly, ever is right? the one man like army. Die Hard. Fucking, uh, what's this movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Commando, right? Like, every, like Rambo. Yeah. Rambo, right? Yeah. So it's, it's for those reasons, but it's also the fact that like it takes itself really seriously. It's not jokey for the most part. It's not really corny. It's very sleek and elegant and oddly enough, it's really satisfying. It's like, it's, it's almost like aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. For a movie that's like 80% murder. You know what I mean? Um, in rewatching the movies, I honestly found out that like on a filmmaking perspective, there's some weird things at play, like some cheesy stuff, uh, specifically through one and two. Here's the best way I could describe it. Uh, it kind of feels like they made John Wick one, right? And they okay. were like, "We got something here. This is a this is a good movie, right?" Mm-hmm. And then after that, they got the <laughs> they got the budget to make John Wick two, and they were like, "You know that movie we just made? Let's make this movie exactly like that movie." Yeah, I mean, it was like the Super Mario Brothers two effect, where it's just like we're gonna make it the same. We're gonna it's make the, the same exact game, same thing. We're just gonna make it like that one made it harder, but yeah, so, same movie. First of all, you just fucking you 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 compared a video game to a movie. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that, same thing. Not the same thing at all. Same I, thing. I was literally in my head thinking of how to correlate that to what I was saying, and you threw da, 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 me da, so da, off. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um. No, like when you watch John Wick 1, I feel like the format is like action sequence at John's house and then John gets ready mm-hmm. and then John goes to the hotel and then John has like a gunfight in the underground section of a club and then he disperses into a crowd and then there's a lot of red and teal and then he has another fight scene and then he kills the bad guy. And then in John Wick 2, there's an action yeah, scene yeah, at his house tell. and then John yeah, gets ready and then he goes yeah, to the hotel <laughs> Then he goes to Italy. Italy. And then he goes to the catacombs. And then he goes to a concert where he disperses into a crowd. <laughs> and there's a lot of red and teal. And then he goes back to New York. There's another fight scene. And he kills a bad guy. <laughs> like, I cannot stress it enough. One and two are the exact fucking same movie. <laughs> they literally, it's just, they were like, it's what, just what, not, if we, what if we went international? <laughs> if, if you want to watch, it's like, they should have just named John, like John Wick. John Wick featuring Common. That's literally the only difference. And then I also thought about it. John I was Wick. Like, John Wick is in Italy for a little. I was bit. like, why is Common in so many action movies? But he's never like the action guy. He's always just like dude who's gonna die seventy five percent of the way. He's, the he's, movie. He's, he's side. He's side bait. He's like side. Yeah, character. he's like in Wanted. He's in this movie, and he's never like the actual. Like I'm waiting for Common to get his starring role. He, he, you know what I mean? He deserves it. He. <laughs> do you like how he just plays like? The, throw away he's he's like the common guy like he's like he's like he's the throwaway he's like the normal dude you know <laughs> no but he is no they, they were like i mean they were like they went through like the one name rappers and they were like damn how about like how about like jada kiss it's like nah, nah this doesn't sound good <laughs> it's like nelly that doesn't sound tough we don't like that yeah <laughs> and actually to pull it up uh no i there, i i haven't pre-checked this to see if it's actually pull upable but there's a scene in John Wick, in two specifically, where he's walking in Lincoln Center, and there's a fountain, and as he John Wick or Common, both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let fountain see. scene, bro. I swear, if this scene is not on YouTube, I will go to Peacock, and I will po- I will pop it open. It doesn't look like it's here. No, we're gonna get this. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're getting this. No, like I can't. Okay, so real quick to to, to preface this, okay. and then you can take over while I get this open. Um, it's a scene where John Wick and Common are in Lincoln Center. Well, more specifically, it starts out with John in Lincoln Center, and he's like wounded, and he's like, you know, oh, he's like walking okay. around, and there's this big fountain. Also, to preface, uh, at this part in the movie, there's like a ridiculous bounty on his head, like 
15 million dollars yeah so everyone like he basically is like this whole thing if he doesn't know who in the city is an assassin trying to kill him so he's really paranoid like who's looking at me kind of thing yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. so uh fucking there's this big fountain in lincoln center and he gets to the fountain and then like the water goes up and when it goes down it reveals that on the other end of the fountain is common who's already been pre-established as like his enemy in the movie. So it's supposed to be like this big reveal. And then it cuts to like this close up where it shows like both of their reactions to seeing each other. And the reason I'm telling you this is because those close ups of Keanu Reeves and common have to be some of the shittiest frames I've ever seen in a movie in my entire life. I paused it and I was like, what am I looking at right now? Like this is a movie. It was insane. So what? It was just like, it just didn't look It was good? the worst green screen you've ever oh. seen. Like, first of all, you're there. Why don't you just fucking film it at Lincoln Center while you're there? That's common, that's common claustrophobic. He's like the camera in his face. <laughs> yeah, like, what, what, what the, you zoom in, bro. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> like what happened? Let me, uh, do the old mute just in case they hit us with an ad. Because this is one of those movies on Peacock that comes with ads. What's that about? What do you pay for Peacock for? I pay the regular fucking... It's because this is like some premium TV shit. You know, you need to have like some extra subscription. Come on, bro. I don't get it, man. I don't... That's some stupid stuff. How come every like... It wasn't enough that they ripped this off with like the monthly model. Now there's like four layers of the monthly model. Everyone has that now, you know? Yeah. It's never just like, oh, you pay one price. It's like, oh, you pay nine ninety nine. You fucking poor person. Uh-huh. You fucking get another fucking job, you lazy <laughs> bitch. Or you could pay fourteen ninety nine like the rest of. It. Actually, and now the, and now there's eighteen ninety nine, which if you actually had, if you actually cared, and it has sports. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's just a stupid. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. We got it. We got. Okay, here we go. I'll pull it out. I'm going to keep it muted just because it doesn't really matter about the sound. So here, here's John. He's walking through Lincoln Center. He does it. And here oh, we go. Here's the fountain. Yeah. And then the fountain drops. And there's Common on the other side. What is that? For, what is that close up? What is that? Look at that. Do you see that? Looks- the lighting doesn't match. Look at the people in the back. Like, what the fuck? It's the weirdest looking thing. It, looked, it looks dated. It, you know, it and looks look, old. Look, it looks like I'm watching a movie from the 90s. Like, I know I'm getting uber critical, but like... It goes to comment like weird, weird. <laughs> it's like it's like it looks like the camera guy is like leaning in with a handheld. Yeah, it's like it's like hey, we're getting a close up of you. Also, looking at this now, I'm pretty sure all of this is green screened, which is even weirder. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna overthink this. That is fucking strange. This is not VFX artists to react. That's a different show. Go check out Corridor Digital for that. It's like they didn't want to pay for Lincoln Square to get. But uh, but anyway, if you look at that sign up there, I got some insider info. It's Seggy time. Yeah, I got a I got a little segment prepared for Dylan. Honestly speaking, I thought Jerry was gonna be here today, but Jerry took a nap in a very unprofessional manner yeah. and and missed his opportunity to be on this week's episode of the podcast. Ready to rule. So I was gonna have it be like a whole competition thing with the buzzers and have, you know come in, but you know since it's just you here, it'll be like how well can you do type thing. Yes. Right? Uh, I mentioned to you before the podcast that it is a new spin on a classic segment. If you remember, we had a segment in the past that was called... Oh, I'm sorry, but these burps are escaping me. It's crazy. That was called, Where Have I Seen That Before? Do you remember it? It was a segment where I showed you, and I think Jerry was the other person here, props from movies. And you... Had to tell me what movie those props belong to. Oh damn! All right, cool. Yeah, Sounds yeah, good. yeah, yeah. So I came up with a new version of it. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a nice little spin, and it's called "Where Have I Seen That Before?" Armed and dangerous. You like that shit? Oh shit! So on this, uh, and this brand new special edition of "Where Have I, I seen, seen That, that before? before?" You are going to be seeing ten guns from famous movies or franchises. Okay, that's all you have to do to score. Is tell me what movie or series that that gun comes from. All of them are from movies, but in some cases, if you can't give me the specific movie, as long as you can tell me what movie franchise it comes from, you will okay. get the point for it. Sound good? That sounds pretty You're good. going for a total of ten out of ten. Also, just as a bit of a warning, I'm gonna do bad, yeah, as a bit of a, a little little bit of a preface, a lot of these pictures, if not all of them, are very blurry because I had to zoom in as to not give too much detail away. Right. 
like a lot of the pictures were people holding the guns, so yeah, they're very zoomed in, yeah, but yeah, they're yeah, still yeah. very, you know, you can tell. I did a test run with some people before this, and they actually got like eight out of ten. So okay, let's all right, see that's, how well that's not can... bad. I like the font of the arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So that yeah. changed it up a bit. So are, nice. are you ready for this? I think I'm ready. I feel like I'm going to do bad, but if p- those people did well, yeah, right. then there's no reason. All right, let's go with number one. You ready? Yes. Boom. There you go. Where have you seen that before? fuck is this this that looks is like a, a, it's a little i feel like if i told you what, I f- what I fe- kind of gun it was i feel like this is i don't know I, it would have been hysterical if i actually knew about guns because i don't like guns that much yeah, yeah i, mean, yeah. I, I want to shoot them eventually mm-hmm. one day but like i don't know much I'm, I'm not like an expert well as you'll come to see a lot of these guns are not your typical guns okay. they, they will get considerably more interesting as the montage or the segment rather okay. goes forward. is this is this from a 007 movie 007 um is that your final your, your guess yeah that's the franchise I'm this is for. star wars that is a blaster what that, that's sci-fi as fuck uh more specifically that is han solo's no blaster. way yes mm-hmm no. So that's Star Wars. No, it's not. You're currently 0 for 10, but let's see if we can get a little better here. Okay? Are you really this like shocked? No, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm seeing it. So more specific- But I thought this was like a nicer cool. I didn't No, like- yeah, for sure. It looks like I see what you're saying. Yeah. It looks like a suit, right? I was using context clues. Yeah, I wasn't but, really looking but at that. That is a, that's Han Solo's blast. Are you ready oh. for number 2? Cool. All right. Boom. Where have you seen that before? You've got some context here. I do. Take it all in. What the fuck is this doing? See, so what do you, what do you see? It's a car. Is it a car? Why would he be sitting on the hood of a car? It's not a car. Transformer. Oh my god, you're a fucking idiot. It's a, <laughs> it's a motorcycle. <laughs> He's wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> it's a fucking transformer, it's bro. It's a shotgun in his hand. You know who this is. Come on. <laughs> on a motorcycle? <laughs> you do you not know this? Wait. I thought this I put the easy ones first. Wait, who um hmm. Give me a minute. Mm-hmm. So an action movie. Yes. Motorcycle. Leather jacket. The Punisher. This is the Terminator, Dylan. <laughs> no, it's the Terminator. How do you? Come on, he's got the fucking one hand shot. I should on know these. I should know these. You're right. I should know these. All right, we ready for number three? Are you just gonna get mad at me this whole no, time? No, I mean, I'll, I'll be polite. <laughs> okay, ready for number three? Yeah, I'm ready. Where have you seen that before? The fuck is that? So I can give you a hint if you want. Yeah, that gun does not shoot bullets. It's not your typical gun. I wish there was more context here. Not that it would help me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What does it shoot? It doesn't shoot bullets. It could shoot a lot of things. It could. Mm-hmm. Maybe it shoots Nerf darts. Maybe. I had a I had a version of this after the movie came out. Parents bought it for me. Come on. The fuck? So give you, I'll give you one last hint. It's from a kid's movie. Then. Not from a kid's movie. It's from a superhero movie. Oh. Mm. What superhero has a gun? That's a good question. A gun that doesn't fire bullets. I feel like that was the biggest hint I could have given you. Come on. A superhero who fires guns that don't shoot bullets? Who could? Like... Oh, Batman? There we go. Yay. Congratulations. This is Batman's grapple gun from Batman Begins. Oh, oh word. Yes. I remember this. I watched this I watched this like less than a year ago. <laughs> you got one. Let's go. Woo! Fucking fist bump, buddy. You ready for number two? Number four. Uh, uh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I got mine for, I got all the easy ones wrong. Come on. Like, and I, I know. can't count. Yeah. <laughs> number four. Boom. Where have you seen that before? He's wearing a fucking Kingsman? Oh. I'm gonna give you a second chance because I think you got this. <sighs> if you need a hint, I will give you a hint. I want a hint. <laughs> uh, a director you very much like made this movie. Yeah. So, 
Which one is it? What do you notice about the gun? It's, it's tiny. Mm-hmm. It's small. Mm-hmm. Which way? Last tint. It's a uh, western. Like to, uh, uh, Django. Django on shame. I was gonna. I, I. I was like. I was. That was my. That's what I was on since like the beginning. That's the doctor's retractable gun that yeah. he kills. Uh, yeah. Because when I looked at it first, my first thought was like Pulp Fiction. Because mm-hmm. I don't know why, but it felt tar- I, I'm like I feel like I know this. And then when yeah. you said it was a director I like, I'm like Tarantino. It's that I was like it for sure. But like the suit's kind of old. Looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. I almost don't want to give you that one because I had to give you two very obvious hints. But you know what? We'll, we'll give whatever, it to you. whatever. Yeah, congratulations. It's more fun than anything. I'm yeah, having you know. fun with this. Okay. You ready for the next one? Yeah, I am. All right. Where have you seen that before? The fuck? It's a giant fucking gun. That is a giant fucking gun. It's a giant gun. Okay. I guess right off the bat, I don't, I don't know what this is, but he's gold. He's not gold. That's a glove. He is not the regular color, though. Huh. I don't let me know when you need your hint. <laughs> Brain kinda empty right now. Mm-hmm. It's fucking looks nice though. Yeah, those pecs. Yeah. You like that? Those are really nice pecs. What's the hint? Okay. Ron Perlman and David Harbour both play this character. It is a superhero movie. Hellboy? It is Hellboy. Okay. Congratulations. Ron Perlman is in Hellboy. You're getting it with these hints. I really yeah. I really like that. All right, let's move on to the next gun. You ready? Okay. Where have you seen that before? The fuck is that? The Golden Gun? That is the Golden Gun. Gun from GoldenEye 007? Yes, James Bond. Thank you very much. Mm. The movie's The Man with the Golden Gun, but yes, this is the Golden Gun, arguably made more popular in the video game Golden. Oh, Eye, I mean, yes. Yes. Great job. You ready for the next one? Yes. Ready for number uh, nine? I think that no, this is this. seven or eight, probably. This is About eight. seven. All I right. This, I think this is seven. Okay. So let's go. Boom. Where have you seen that before? Oh, okay. This one. I like this one. This one's pretty easy. I like it. Uh, no Country for Old Men. Very good. Yes. Honestly, what it like a movie that didn't need that like i don't know it th- there was very unique things in that movie yeah. that i liked a lot like there was no reason for him to use that yeah like it was just kind tank yeah he was just like oh let me just use this it was yeah. like a quirky thing i liked it all right where have you nice. seen that before this one's a little difficult hard to see i know <clears throat> don't get mad at me it's how they filmed it so first of all can you see what it is <clears throat> not so like it is a gun taped to something to somebody's back which is the biggest hit honestly speaking and I'll give you a hint if you need it it's taped to his back it's like is that like a major plot point in the movie yep. that it's taped to his back mm-hmm. and will you say when you say the movie I'll be like oh I've seen this I don't know if you've seen it to be honest It is a very popular movie. You want your hint? Yes. It's a very popular Christmas movie. Die Hard? It is Die Hard. Have you seen Die Hard? Yes, I have. The end of the movie where he has his wife pass it. She tapes it back prehand. Exactly. John McClane's pistol. Good job. Ready for number... That was a pretty good hint. This is number nine. Okay. Boom. Where have you seen that before? Pretty pixely. Sorry about that one, but it is a very famous frame and a very famous gun. Is this Are You Feeling Lucky? That's punk? that's the scene, yeah. Yeah. But what's the movie? Taxi Driver. It's no. not Taxi Driver. Are you feeling lucky, punk? You know who the actor is? Looks like this. Yeah. Hey, Dylan. You feeling lucky? Well, do ya. <laughs> do ya, punk. Clint Eastwood? Don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I know the movie. Wait, it's Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. Well, the Dirty Harry franchise. Yes. I don't know if this is specifically Dirty Harry, but it's one of those movies. 
All right, last but not least, we got number 10 of, for you. I was you. thinking of the Spaghetti Boys. I usually like to round out number 10 with one that, you know, should be fairly recognizable. I but probably, with you, I, I'm kind of scared. I probably won't know it. But uh, number 10. <laughs> <laughs> Caddyshack. Yep, it is definitely <laughs> no, Caddyshack. It's, uh, it's, uh... Melissa McCarthy's own <laughs> Ghostbusters original yeah, you got Ghostbusters. It. Ghostbusters with the ladies, yeah, with Chris Hemsworth, which, which they literally made another Ghostbusters and said, "No, that one yeah, didn't yeah, exist." Yeah, we're gonna retcon that one and make a brand new one that actually exists in the Ghostbusters universe. Good job. Let's just a recap. Let's go back and see how many you got. Like, you got a uh, nope. You didn't get that one. You got no. that one with hints. You got that no, one with hints. You got that one with which hints. one? I don't, don't count the five, six, seven, eight. You got like you got like. Seven. I'll give myself like six, maybe, because okay. some of the hints were easy. Yeah, I tested this with my dad. He got, he didn't get that one. He got Terminator. He didn't get Batman. He got Django. He got Hellboy. He got the gold. My dad surprised the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. My dad literally saw this and he was like, "That's the golden gun from the man with the golden gun. It's used by." And then he said the full name of the assassin who has a giant Italian name yeah, that yeah, I yeah, forgot. Yeah, yeah. And I was oh, like, yeah. Jesus Christ. He got that one, he got that one, he got that one, and he got that one. Yeah. So my dad kind of killed that one. Yeah. Got an 8 out of 10. Nice. And if anybody got higher than a 6 out of 10, put your score in the comments. Let us know if you beat the shit out of Dylan. Yeah. And let us know if you needed hints. I know you didn't need hints. I'll be back. Definitely didn't need hints. Only Dylan needed hints. Yeah, I'll be back. You'll be back? Yeah, much like the segment, hopefully. You'll be back, like yeah. the, uh, the composer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I swing it in to like, uh, yeah. what I did pre- Fourth of July. For sure. If I could just say something real quick, we're gonna do this segment next, but I'm gonna show Bob yext. maps. <laughs> we're gonna do a yext. Can't wait to do the yext segment. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can we do it yow? <laughs> or should we do it yater? <laughs> All right, you can say your thing. Come on. Maps. What have you been up to before fourth of July? Oh, you're not going to say the no, maps I don't thing? care anymore, bro. I'm upset. You're not going to tell me about your geography no. yegment that no. you have prepped? <laughs> no. Anyway, <laughs> for before the 4th. Uh, no, I actually, I was, in, uh, I was in Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah? It's pronounced Worcester, but it has like fucking eight extra yeah, letters it, for it, no reason. It's Worcester, you know? Yeah, you know. Uh, I kind of feel like whoever named that just felt like pulling a prank on the, the city. Unless that guy's name was Worcester. In that case, bad draw. You know yeah, what well, I mean? Why did you say it like that? That's not what I said. What? No, I'm saying that's what people like. That's what people probably told him. He's like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah right. I have money. Fuck you. It's like it's, it's like the sauce, right? Like Worcestershire. Yeah. But it's Worcester. That's yeah. how it's pronounced. Yeah. I don't know. Enough. Too much of a tangent on the city yeah. name. Worcestershire. Yeah. Gotta say, realistically, so we were there for a first birthday party, yeah. but it was honestly one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to, and didn't really expect that. Um, I knew it was a city going in, so it's not like I was expecting to be like in a rural town or anything like that, but it was just so interesting. Like, I don't know how to fully explain it. You would walk around the city and anywhere you looked, whichever building you were looking at was just completely different. Architecturally speaking, yeah. like design, time period. It was almost just like a mishmash of all these buildings that shouldn't be next to each other. Like you look in this direction and you see like New York City skyscrapers. And then you look in this direction and you see like San Francisco, like hillside homes. And yeah. it's like, what the fuck is this And then there's probably place? a lot of like old timey brick type houses. Oh, for sure. Too, there's like Victorian homes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's like, factories. It's I'm, crazy. I mean, a lot of like Massachusetts just is really nice. You yeah. Know? The beautiful and, uh, state up there. Yeah, and we were there for uh, a first birthday party, which was like, bro, that we went to a first birthday party, and it was better than any birthday any party, party you've I've ever, ever been had. to. Yeah. That must have felt like shit for a second. Yeah, you right. Just think, Damn, bro, this fucking. Then I'm gonna remember this. Yeah, right. Just pretend you're the birthday kid, like. Real quick, I was uh, I was talking to somebody about it, and they were low key like they were like I don't know I just feel like it's super overkill. But I was like, no, you know, it's a big, it's a huge moment. You know, it's like your kid's first birthday. It's big for the parents too, right? Like I, f I mean, it's more for the, it's yeah, definitely and, and I thought more it was, for the parents. They said it was in a restaurant, right? And I, it was in a hall, right? Oh my God. The baby who came in in a, in a Maserati. Oh my God. Like a baby Maserati. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. In a little red sports car. And then I think my favorite part of the day was after the baby came out in the car and my mom leaned into me and said, she's not driving the car, is she? And I said, no, mom, the, the one-year-old toddler is not driving She's that car. Driving. She meant the father she is behind it she with was, the remote control. She wasn't joking. She was <laughs> No, she was very she was concerned, actually. She was like, excuse me? I was like, no, mom. That's I would have I 
cr- die laughing because yeah, 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 my mom, my mom would also like genuinely ask some mom something shit. Like, That's right? a mom yeah. shit like concern for another kid. Dude, they had like a bouncy castle for the kids. They had like a photo booth. I think my favorite thing that they had was they had a professional caricaturist. And uh, before the party started, this guy comes up to me since I guess I was just like the only one there. He's like, "Hey, buddy, you want a caricature? Come by. Be the first guy." And then he gives me his card, and I was like, okay. And then he just goes and sits at his little art panel, and I was like, what the fuck was that conversation? Like, I was so taken aback <laughs> by it. Like, you know when you're not expecting to yeah, be yeah, talking yeah, to yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah, but then yeah. you look, and now this guy's offering me a fucking free caricature? And I'm yeah, like, yeah, you're in a sales pitch. Yeah, you're like, what, what the fuck this? happened? How did this happen? <laughs> no, nah, but it was a really cool party. It was great. I got to hang out with a lot of babies, as weird as that sounds, but it was a good time. Babies <laughs> just are, fucking, yeah, yeah. Just palm some toddlers. <laughs> Babies are fucking cute, dude. I don't mm-hmm. know how to explain it. They're mad adorable. They are. I'm getting to that part of my life where I see one and I'm like, mm, a couple years. You know what I mean? Like a little more. I'm not not there yet. No. But, but Fuck no. soon. I mean, you're different. I know. No, you. but I mean, look. Yeah, they'll 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 be a yeah. There'll be some monster out there. That's my kid. <laughs> but and uh, and it, it was a good time. But uh, at, at some point, me and my dad we snuck away. Snuck snuck snuck. We snuck away. Sneak. Sneaked away, uh, and Snooketh. you know, like you mentioned uh, yeah. earlier, a couple podcasts ago, when you went to Massachusetts, Massachusetts legal state. Yeah. You know, so my dad and I made it upon ourselves to go to a dispensary. Which, yeah. real quick, come to realize, there's you know two types of dispensaries. There's like the ones that look like fucking pharmacies, and then the ones that are chill as fuck that you walk into, and there's just like a tattooed guy, and he's like, "Bro, what do you want?" And you just tell him what you want. I experienced both of those in Seattle, but I experienced the pharmacy one here in. Uh, in mass yeah. and i'm not a fan i gotta say because uh, yeah, the one i the both of the ones i went to in mass the second one was nicer mm-hmm. but the first one was like a warehouse like a tiny warehouse on the side of the road and it's like one door you enter one door you exit oh, okay and it was like it felt pharmacy-esque but it was basically only every place i believe on in that part of mass only is like one or two people working there. okay they have the person checking the id and then they have the salesperson okay like the bud tender um so real quick, we walked to one, and then it like it wasn't there. Like we went to the address, and it's just like there was nothing there. It was like a bodega. That was okay. it. But then when we looked it up, it was because it was like on the upstairs, and it was like a distributor for the other dispensary. Oh. So it's not like a walk-in shop type of thing. Oh, okay. So we were like, damn, we walked like 15 minutes. But I checked, and I found like there was another one like five minutes away. So we went to that okay. one, and that was like a walk-in. You're just place. walking, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like like your journey. Oh, exactly. Like, like Lord, Lord of, of the, the Rings. Rings. Lord fucking... of the fucking. <laughs> Lord of the. <laughs> what? You... I'm trying to think of a weird Lord of the pun, Puffs. I... Yeah, like I, what like would I, it be? I couldn't think of anything funny. It'd be Lord it of the Puffs. It was just gonna be sad. With. Yeah. It's Lord of the Puff, sure. Yeah. Uh, no, so we, we we ventured, and uh, like you said, they have like the guy who checks the ID and you go in. But this place had like three or four bud tenders behind the counter. Yeah. They... My dad got this guy who, uh, like, the best way I could describe him, he was like this short dude, a uh, little chubby, had red hair, and had like a little like a beard, right? Okay. So that's, that's what this guy looked like, like Irish kind of dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's who my dad got. I got this other guy who was like a foot taller than that guy, probably like six foot something, backwards cap, a uh, little bit of stubble, stoned out of his mind, there's no, there's Dylan. No, there's, no, there's, no, there's no dress code at your dispensary? Nope. No? I mean, they're all wearing, like, you know, the okay. T-shirts. Because the ones I went to, and that's funny that you say they're both guys, the places I went, all women. No, there were two other girls, yeah, yeah, but yeah, the people yeah. who worked with my dad and I specifically were yeah. guys. And uh, the dude I was with was just, like, not on this planet. He was just gone. So I, I went in, and I told him specifically. I was like, I have a pen. I'm looking for a cartridge to buy because I'm visiting. Yeah. So I'm just looking for something that I could put on my pen and, and hit a couple times. And he was mm-hmm. like, bro, I got this thing for you. And then he proceeded to go on that weed tangent where he's like, I, I do this, bro. It's got, like, 70% of this, 30% of this. You get, like, a mellow blah, blah, uh, with a little bit no. of that, right? That sounds, just, like, that sounds like not what you asked for. And though. I'm just getting to the point where I'm like, just fucking get it and put it in the bag, please. So he gets it, he gives it to me. He's like, this is good stuff, bro. And I'm like, I appreciate it. Puts it in the bag, we leave. We get back to where the party is, but obviously before we go into the first one-year-old birthday party, we put the shit in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was curious to see what it looked like, and I open it, and this fucking guy sells me Shatter for, like, a yeah. dab rig. 
And I'm like, what the Some fuck am I? Yeah, shit, yeah, I was like, what am I gonna? Do you think I travel with a fucking eighty dollar dab rig and a blowtorch to do this shit? I don't even own a dab rig to start yeah, with. Exactly. Uh, and I thought it was mad funny that the redhead guy was like explaining to my dad like the whole science of dab stuff. And my dad was like, wow, that's really fucking incredible. <laughs> This is bad funny. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, in when I was in mass, that was like a bit like there was tons of conversations about it. Oh, yeah. And like, oh, the woman next to me when I was like waiting to buy my shit the second time, she was getting a crash course, you know, mm-hmm. just every. And I was like, oh, damn, this is like in depth. But uh, I mean, I know about it. But so we had to go back and we had to exchange it. But... Oh, they let you they let you exchange. Yeah, it? they were cool about it. Okay. But um, what I thought was hilarious was just like honestly going back to it like I know I made the whole the whole exaggeration and the joke it's not even an exaggeration like the, the guy I was talking to was just like not really pro- not perfect it wasn't that he wasn't professional it was just he was high as shit yeah like, he just said helpful, like like you know? it's a, like but do it enough that you can do your job yeah, yeah obviously yeah, yeah. <laughs> but aside from that my dad's guy that redheaded guy was like the fucking what's this guy's name what's the what's the name of that black dude that knows a lot about the cosmos Oh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. That guy's the Neil deGrasse Tyson of marijuana. Yeah? Bro. Not high at all. You could talk to him about anything, and he's like, this is probably the best thing we have here for this. This is that, blah, 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 to be honest with you. He's mad, Expert. clear, yeah, and concise. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Where? why didn't I get this guy? Yeah. Why that's, didn't I have this guy? That's dude? usually who's there. You know, they're like, they know they, they're good at their job. Exactly. Yeah. But that was my uh, that was my experience in, uh, in Worcester, <laughs> Massachusetts. Otherwise, nice. very great time. Like I said, beautiful city amazing party considering it was a one-year-old party like i don't know how to explain that it's, it just sounds funny right like it was a rager yeah, yeah a yeah, lot yeah. of toddlers yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> now it was also just good to see family shout out to my titi nancy i don't know if she, she actually watches a couple times oh nice so it'd be cool you know shout outs to you you the best i love you oh yeah it was a great time it was, it was just good to also just catch up with like old family members yeah you don't really get that's, the chance i mean family that. parties are nice yeah. i had a small get together for fourth of july so mm-hmm. it was nice to see everybody in the same spot it was also fun to watch my dad short circuit on the drive up to worcester massachusetts what happened oh we just hit like it's it's supposed to be like a two and a half hour drive but it took us like six plus hours and like it was so because my dad we kept telling him like we were like if you want to pull over like you know we could both drive we could take the time and my dad was like i just want to get there i just want to get there but the thing I don't like about my dad is like we'll be driving and like I don't know how to explain it. My dad's just very impatient, and yeah. that's fair. But like he's so emotive about it, very expressive. So like we'll be driving and he literally huffs and puffs. Like he'll literally just be like <sighs> But super audible and it'll just be like <laughs> and I just want to turn like, to him and be like, shut the fuck up. Turning, like, I he's get turning, it. He's like, turning into static. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, I get it. You You're know? in between you know the I mean? channels on the radio. And I'm in traffic with you too. I understand. It's like, yeah, you even offered the drive. Oh my God. But it was fun, you know? Yeah. It's a good time. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even think about it. Like, that's, I mean, fuck traffic, man. It was like the 4th of July. Traffic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's always traffic. Oh, and I went to Cracker Barrel. Oh, yeah. She was fire. Had a mimosa. I passed one of those. I should have won. Yeah. You had, a, you had a mimosa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crack your back. <laughs> it hit you late. I was like, out of any place, have a fucking yeah, mimosa. mimosa, dude. Yo, yo, it was a fucking rager, bro. We went, he stopped that cracker bar. Bro, I had a mimosa at a racist breakfast restaurant, <laughs> dude. It was delicious. Then, bro, the, I'm surprised they weren't like, that sounds fucking Spanish. They ain't fucking lie. Like, I'm surprised. I know it's upstate, but it's no, like. You know what I think it is? I, I think I looked it up and I think. Cracker Barrel just like recently was allowed to serve alcohol. Like oh, I think in like twenty twenty or something like that. Oh shit, they didn't have so that. So they had like a brand new summer drink menu and I was like looking down it and they had like this watermelon lemonade that wasn't alcoholic, but it still looked incredible and I was gonna get that. And then I saw they had a strawberry mimosa that came with a rocket pop. Like one of those red, white, and blue icy oh, pops in it. Oh shit. And you like come sticking out of it. And I saw that and joking around, I was like, yo, I might get that. That's my it's pretty cool. My mom was like, fuck it, we're on vacation, get it vacation you know yeah, so I was like, you got it. screw it and yeah. i bought it and it was good it was delicious i even looked it up online to see like you know getting what i was getting myself into and the reviews were like it's pretty decent and they even have a pro tip if you're going to the cracker barrel and you're going to get yourself a rocket pop mimosa you got to stir it you got to let the ice pop melt in a bit that's how that shit works uh, out so then when you go in for that swig you get that wine but you also get that icy oh 
is actually really good. And this is coming from someone who doesn't drink like at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let alone someone who hates. There, there's a uh, whoever whoever invented like the alcoholic frozen beverage. They really unlocked something. Oh, for sure. Like especially for white people, blew our minds. Mm-hmm. Like get a white person, they'll actually spend five figures on margaritas and beer yeah. They really will. I just yeah. realized I have like another thing I want to tell you, but gonna have to tell you off podcast oh give yeah. one of those see we're, we're planning a patreon pretty soon and we i have the intention of like you know after we wrap the podcast we do like an extra 30 minutes and mm-hmm. give that to like our patreon members so if we were doing that now we'd be able to tell i'd you the fucking story. tell the shit out of that story oh, to you. okay but we're, we're gonna have to wait uh post because oh mm. man that was a, it was good yeah uh, do you have anything? Very nice. I mean, yeah. I know you were. We wanted to talk about some something hockey related. Yeah. So there's a uh, for um. I wouldn't say it's like a dead part of the sports time, but no, there's but... no basketball. There's no, no football. Hockey. There's no hockey. The only sport Just... going on right now is baseball. Yeah. And it's like a hundred more games are still like it's like <laughs> you know like baseball is like absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, this week I did watch, uh, actually yesterday in fact, I watched the uh, 2022 NHL draft, Mm -hmm. uh, which out of all of the drafts is an absolute shit show. Why so? Like it's, uh, I don't know, it's just like hockey is such like a niche culture that things are going to go wrong, I guess. Okay. Like, I, I don't really know how else to describe it in that way. Like, people are more passionate about it because people, it's more... Uh... Canada is extremely passionate about it, so much so that there's, like, I don't watch the American stream. So, like, there's maybe about... Uh, okay. There's three different Canadian companies and ESPN all doing their own streams yeah. of the draft. Own table own everything yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a it's 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 fucking insanity like for example the nba draft absolute like if you ever watched it it's a it's complete organized bell of the ball of drafts sure. in the nba in general it's is like, like the oscars look yeah, yeah 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 and like they uh, the nba also only like they're like the proactive ones like they're always the first ones to come out and speak out against things yep. then the trendsetter they were the first one to cancel COVID. not only that i'd argue they were one of the first organizations to really give a lot of power to the players you oh know, like a hundred percent for mm-hmm. sure uh so their drafts are really good nfl draft classic nfl mm-hmm. drafts are amazing like the player will come out and just lift roger goodell above their head <laughs> like i got it and there's no for real, you know there's like there's actually like 20 clips on youtube you can probably pick it, look it up right now of roger goodell getting lifted at how the old is he 50s 60s <laughs> this guy giant black guy you saved my life you know like i was living sandra bullock oh, saved shit. me you know just saying all this shit but it's like even though they were like in college getting mad hoes or whatever yeah, you know yeah, yeah. they were doing fine but that draft is really good it's like really hype football fans and college football fans are nutty as all hell probably nuttier than everyone but NHL. else nhl nhl is a high school graduation <laughs> that's the best way i can describe it okay especially because like in the nfl they've been in college for a few years they're all like 250 plus true, pounds true. and jacked. nhl, they, br- they, NHL they might as well be 16 years old they are <laughs> they, they are 17 to 19 years old that's not a fucking joke i know I've been... seven they're they're literally high school age you look them up on twitter you, you they're at their prom their their twitter cover page is the prom photo one guy's like eh, you know god what a flex bro you're a senior in high school and you're fucking playing for I the spit on the mic a little shit. bit yeah yeah, yeah. So. no literally so like um these kids and by the way they like they never go to high school they play hockey like all yeah, day yeah, every day it's it's absolutely ridiculous what they do to these kids uh so midway through uh imagine okay so imagine like a high school graduation right you're in a stadium but where the people usually play is just tables of old dudes, you know? And because of that, it's like a high school graduation, but there's a bunch of old people and people with cameras obsessed with your child yeah, yeah. and his physical body. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so it also feels like a slave auction. <laughs> you know, it's like a weird, like, in between. A slave auction of Polish. Yeah, <laughs> of, 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 of just fucking Swedish and yeah, Finnish yeah. kids. It's like, oh, yeah, Olaf Gunderson really... Uh, 
really will really will pull the tractor well you know like it's, oh, it's insane great. and like uh all of the people when talking about these kids they only use like euphem- euphemisms you know because of course you have stats and oh this is going to be a star player or whatever but some of them are like a little ridiculous it's like damien why don't you explain this and damien's just like you know he's the type of player that will go into the corner eat the salt and drive all the way home it's like what what is what even is that <laughs> it's not even anything fucking speaking in sayings the fuck is that oh man uh and the worst part about it and even though in hindsight i was like watching like uh i went to like a second stream it was actually really funny and like they talked they interview all the players uh and actually in hindsight it was very entertaining which is what i care about but uh what made it worse is can you out of can you guess where the draft is i mean i would guess canada yes so it is in quebec okay it is in montreal what's one thing about montreal a lot of French people. Everything's in French. Got it. All of the signs. They did. They did no sacrifices. Got it. Everything is in French. It's even do hockey. You know. It's bon like, venu. Yeah. yeah, yeah, literally. And it's like instead of pick, it's like trois six. Okay. I'm like, that's that's, that's pick. Chua. Man, I took French in high school. I don't remember shit. Yeah, it's fucking weird language. Helped a, helped a couple get to the airport once. And so. now it's like so. La <laughs> <laughs> And then. That's why I know why that was so I funny. was like, I, I, I think stop was like out of it or something like that. And then we were on the A train and I was like, a new arrêt, l'aéroport. And they're like, oh, merci. And I was like, got you. Yeah, bien, yeah, yeah, bien. Yeah. So imagine that, but it's a bunch of people who don't speak French doing yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, um, also, by the way, imagine like the high school graduation is worldwide too. Because yeah. it's like Russians and Finnish and Swedish people. So like, you know. They go up, Montreal's hosting, and they also have the first pick. So they're up there for like 20 minutes, talking all in French, right? Second pick is New Jersey Devils. One of their presidents is Martin Brodeur. Mm-hmm. You can guess what, what where he's from. He's from Canada. He's French. So he's up there speaking French. Third pick is the Arizona Coyotes. They don't fucking speak French. Yeah, we're... So now a man, I forget his name. His name is like Victor Gutierrez. He's like the president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like white Hispanic, you know what I mean? And he's just like... Bonjour! <laughs> fucking killed me, bro. They're all wearing like matching suits. It looked absolutely ridiculous. And just, just, just an hour of that, just like do hockey, uh, like just fucking speaking French, like but they can't speak French. You know what I mean? And it's like if you, there are actual French people. Yeah. So like when they, the person would come up, I'd have to decipher. I'm like, does this person actually know French, or do they fucking yeah. know French at all? Or are they gonna? That's funny. Yeah, I would say overall though, I mean, I was, like, yeah, okay. uh, it's a very uh, good thing to watch, mm-hmm. and it's I just the amount people care about these children is absolute. Yeah. Like the the amount of like studying you do every year to like know about these people and be like, well, I don't think you go you should go eighth. I think you should go eleventh. Like who fucking care? I mean, I care, but who fucking cares? Who cares about seventeen year old? Yeah. <laughs> We don't know. Fucking playing Warzone. Do how? Room. Yeah, literally. It's like, will they get good? Well, uh, maybe. Are they gonna be good? Maybe. maybe yeah, speaking of, will they get good? Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets collapsing in like two oh, days. Oh word! Jesus Christ! Yeah. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but uh, fucking you know, that's crazy. We, we got Kyrie who wants to get out. We got Kevin who wants to get out. Everyone wants to get. Good. Kevin bought a fucking house in Canada. Really? Yeah, so people think... Raptors? People think Raptors because he bought a house in Canada. But also, Canada's real estate market is, like, insane because mm. of, like, the, you know... COVID I mean, all the all probable... That. Well, the first thing, before I get into the Durant thing, is I, I heard something really sad. And I heard that if Kyrie gets traded, because, you know, the big thing they're looking at is maybe Kyrie going to the Lakers. And I saw... I mean, it's a big what if, but I saw that if, you know, Kyrie goes to the Lakers, part of the package would be we would get Westbrook. But with him... <laughs> be joe harris i can't dylan i need joe harris if any player is gonna stay with the nets i need harris you don't know he's my favorite i love i as someone who loves joe harris joe harris can be replaced i know bro he's, you can, he's my boy the the the, the i don't the, want the, seth curry i want joe harris the, the the six the six seven white guy who only shoots threes is comes out of college every couple of but years but i want him <laughs> i want joe i want joe i grew up with him oh fuck it <laughs> oh yeah and i grew up with K- pages stoyakovich and kyle korver but we all move oh, on man korver I forgot yeah that motherfucker. no I, but uh but point is is uh we lost you know we might lose him we lost drummond already we lost Dragic. Also like Dragic a lot, even 
though you know he was more of like a just like a half Dragic played on a different team yeah, every yeah, year. Yeah. <laughs> um freaking uh we lost Bruce Brown. That one hurt a lot. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. Bruce, I, I liked Bruce a I lot. I liked Bruce a lot. Is he going to the Pacers, I think? Yeah, I Bruce forgot. was good, dude. Yeah, Bruce was, was fire. And, uh, you know, now the big one is where the fuck is Durant going to go, you know? I'm just thinking, and I'm like, all right, so Ben Simmons is going to pass it to nobody. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I'm just imagining him on the court alone, <laughs> just looking around. Like, who's... <laughs> It's just like Ben Simmons and Patty Mills. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Two v fiving the Lakers with their ex teammates. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blake Griffin is sitting down. And he's just like, I'm not even moving, bro. I'll be here for the Chinese New Year game. I'll talk about how I ate dumplings. <laughs> no, but if I could, uh, that's amazing. I think two of the more interesting things I saw in terms of like Durant trades was one of them was uh, him going. And these are like wild things. Like these yeah. aren't really these aren't really to say like probable. These are just more so like what if situations. So one of them was like, what if he got traded to the Celtics and we got Jalen Brown? That would be hype, and I would take that. And I would only take that to break up Jason Tatum. And Jalen yeah, I, I would. I would take that a million percent. Yeah. I feel like, and I also feel like weirdly enough, Tatum and him would have beef. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like they would sure. argue, they would fight over the ball and stuff. That, yeah. I'd definitely be like Tatum, like bro, the you rising shot. newbie, and like the guy yo, who's trying to. Yeah, Tatum's like yo, you're washed up. It like, also wouldn't this. work because the whole thing with Durant is he's looking to lead a team, and you can't like you just throw him exactly. On so when and, we, so I'm thinking maybe Toronto because it's like that. It would make sense. Yeah, him, him, and Siakam just yeah. just double teaming it. And the uh, the other one was obviously the one that everybody low key if he's gonna go there help the Warriors right to go back with yeah. Steph and them. But uh, what would be interesting about that is I was reading that like obviously if Durant goes we need a big fucking trade on that part. And they were saying we could low key get like Pool, Kaminga. Like a shit ton of like. I mean, you could literally you're losing a lot. Like that's probably what's gonna happen. That's yeah. the most. It's probably going to be the Warriors or another team giving the Nets like four players. Yeah. And it's all like middling guys. Yeah. I feel like that would make more sense. It would be like or like three guys and a draft pick. I yeah. feel like that's more. And I know he said he wants to work. go to the Suns, but realistically, I think it's between the Raptors and the Pelicans right now. Yeah, because uh, he'd be it. playing with Zion, and not only that, I was reading about it. The like, Pelicans are low key good. The, not even that. The Pelicans the, have a really good team. I, I read that like part of the dra- part of the the trade, like the Pelicans would be giving Brooklyn like five first round picks or something like that, which is huge. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're just sitting on them. Mm-hmm. So. And the Pelicans may not be amazing. You yeah. know, they were bad last year with a good team. Exactly. I was what, the, what did I see? It was like um. The summer league comes out at like I think is like towards yeah, yeah. the end. It's no, it's right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I watched that the fucking Oklahoma City Thunder had a lineup that was all tall people. Oh, really? Because they have a point guard who's six seven. Oh shit! And they just and wow. Th- yeah, which is which is I mean that exists. Ben Simmons is like yeah, six yeah, five, yeah. six six. So uh, people like that exist. It's still, it's like it's surprising. It's it's rare. But then everyone else on the team is like six nine or taller, mm-hmm. realizing that everyone on the team is tall. And I'm like, holy shit! That was like just, the, the Celtics. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then, and then Marcus Smart was like the only short guy. Yeah. But even then, it's short like guy. yeah, short six foot four. You're fucking short, bro. No, I was gonna say the last thing is uh, I was actually watching a pretty interesting video about like how Durant became like the the villain of the NBA because like he started getting drafted by the SuperSonics and, and then went Thunder, to OKC and, and was... that's where he kind of started his reign as like building that team up and that city up and he kind of became the hero but yeah. then he didn't want to stay with them anymore and did you hear the whole thing about how he made like the tweet about the the, the Thunder yeah that he like he basically he wanted to make a tweet from a burner account. That was like a sources say Kevin Durant said this type thing, but he accidentally sent it to For his, his, his yeah. per- personal account. And in the sources say thing, he was basically trashing like all of his players, the coach, yeah. and, it, and they were basically like, get the fuck out type of thing. Like, yeah. completely ruined his status there. Then he went to Golden State, won the fucking titles, but then his whole thing was like, I'm getting overshadowed by Steph, so I want to go to like a new team and kind of be the leader. And then he goes to Brooklyn and just fucking gives up, kind of like. I, I read that him, Kyrie, and Harden played like 16 games together. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and him and Harden, Durant, and Harden played 33 games together. It should have, it should have worked out way better than how it worked out. Exactly, like, it was like you made this team. And what sucks about it is a lot of it was out of Durant's hands. You know what I mean? Like with the whole Kyrie situation and like Harden trading or like wanting to leave and go into the 76ers halfway through. Mm. But he just, you know, I don't know. 
Am I going to give up on the Nets? Sounds like a quitter. No, but... Uh, You're not going to be a quitter like the rant. Already trashing you, bitch. There you go. <laughs> but I think it's time for Jam and Yam. It is. Yeah, it's it really time. is. We had yeah. a good... Uh, I think this is a yeah. post-hour episode. That was a nice... Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a nice, po- the nice little sports... Yeah, for sure. ...conversation. I mean, I know my jam. I just don't know the, the, the guy's name. I'm pretty sure it's just three letters. I, but... I, know, uh, I know mine if I can go. Go for it, bro. Okay, yeah. So I picked the song that originally I hated, and now I like... Uh, it is a song called Turbulent mm-hmm. by Water Parks. I know that song, yeah. You know that song? Yeah. Okay. I don't like Water Parks too much. Yes. So Water Parks is like, so they're headlining Sad Summer, mm-hmm. which I find hysterical because you won't find a sad second in any of their music. Yeah, yeah. But I'm picking Turbulent because I first heard the song. I'm like, what the fuck is this trash? I listened to it again and I was like, <laughs> you know, so it kind of slaps. It starts with like an electronic beat, goes to a hip hop beat. But then there's like guitar in the back. It's really nice. Got it. Yeah. My jam of the week is going to be Slack Face by YTK. It's pretty fire, like two minute rap song. I mean, he's got one of the best flows I've heard in a super long time. On top of that, the lyrics are fucking fire. And uh, it has like a 30 second intro of just music. So I heard that. I heard that, that before. Because, yeah. you know, it's just going to be 30 seconds of the same fucking loop. But other than that, that last minute and a half. Whew, fucking fire. It's solid. Oh, it's any solid. rap song that's like under two minutes is just pure like. Oh, yeah. It's heat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. That was real. You guys are you guys are looking real good. Yeah. I, I see you right through that Very lens. Hot. What's up? What's up? What are you doing after this? You trying to you trying to do something? You trying to subscribe to the Joystick Show? You trying to like episode ninety seven? Trying to comment a thing down below that we yeah, told in the comment. What did we tell in the comment? Where, where are you going this summer? Yeah, there's still time. Yeah, I'm going, going to Florida. Hell yeah, it's gonna be mad fun. Going to, going to Universal. Gonna go ride some coasters. Second year in a row. Going to Harvard. Gonna go on Fast and Furious, just for you. Should Bro. I actually go on that again? I, 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 if if I go to Universal at any point, I'm going on it again. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to. I like. I remember when I went on it. I went on it in the morning, and uh-huh. I feel like that's the best time to do it. Yeah, because it's such a good fucking fever yeah. dream. Uh-huh. Where are we going? I'm not talking about the fucking Fast and Furious right now. No. Fuck you, Dylan. <laughs>